Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 15th to the 21st. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to do you and the other person or somebody that is predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is. Okay, we're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the week of February 15th through the 21st, what do we have for Scorpio? Five of Swords reversed. Queen of Cups. So this is about choosing to be happy, not fighting. You know, there's, there's some sort of... Uh, emotional fulfillment here opening of the heart feelings i feel like we have there's there's been some sort of battle there's been some sort of fight but i feel like a fight is ending somebody is following their heart somebody is following their heart they're using their heart they're they're feeling emotional they're they're feeling this is about love right it is about love there's obviously been some sort of battle but the battle this could be a very hostile situation that is coming to an end that's what it looks like to me what about the other person? I feel like you have a lot of love to offer. Um, somebody may have been fighting it. Somebody may have been fighting what they had, what their heart wants. But I think there's going to be some sort of change. Um, but anyway, what about the other person? Somebody else that's in your energy very predominantly. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is self love as well. Somebody, well, somebody may be acting, you know, out of self love. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to do what's best for me. So, you know, this this is following your heart out of self-love, okay? Whoever you're dealing with could be a Pisces, could also be a Cancer, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever you are dealing with is not stable. They're not secure. They are not enjoying their life. They've been hiding their feelings. They are in a very dark place. Um, I feel like they're about to get some sort of reality check. This person uh, may not want a commitment. They may, they may not be commitment material. Whoever you're dealing with is probably, um, you know, a lot of times they're probably in fantasy land. You know, they, they, they like to live in fantasy. Maybe some whoever you're dealing with or, or you've been dealing with um, hasn't been able to accept reality. That's what it looks like. But now it feels like this person is starting to get some sort of reality check. They may be getting some sort of clarity. So it's interesting. Somebody's getting at some sort of clarity. Maybe it's from you. I don't know. You're dealing with somebody that's that's not enjoying their life. I don't know if this is a business owner, somebody that may have their own business, and, and they're just not feeling fulfilled. Uh, you're dealing with somebody that needs to take action right now and maybe that's what they're doing now this is like you don't complete me i complete myself um yeah i feel like there's going to be a separation over here whoever this person is it could be somebody that you live with definitely walking away somebody is walking away from another person that it because it's emotionally unfulfilling there's no compatibility there's a lack of love there's a lack of unity there could be an argument we have a couple we have two people here that just don't see eye to eye and there's been some sort of illusion, you know, so there's been some sort of hiding of the feelings. Somebody may have stayed in a partnership just for, you know, the stability of it, but it, it looks like it's, I feel like it's coming to an end. I do. I do. Um, somebody is walking away. They're walking away from emotional, in, un, emotional disappointment. Okay, this is saying goodbye. I'm going after happiness. I am. And this is choosing to be happy as well. So whoever this person is over here, they're separating. They're separating from a partnership that is not compatible. So, okay, that one's for you. And what about for somebody else that is predominantly in your energy all the time? Okay. So for you work, achievement, success. So you're going to be focusing on your job. You're going to be focusing on your success and you're going to be achieving success. This person is doing something important, such as a new job or raise or something, whatever this person is 
over here, whoever this person is, is making a big move. They are separating from something. They are honoring their truth after they haven't been. So whoever this person is over here, they haven't been enjoying their life. They have not. They, they have probably stayed in a partnership for uh, codependency reasons. They didn't want to be alone. You know, but now I feel like they're making an important decision, you know, about a partnership. Let's go back over to you. You may have to let them go. You may have to let somebody go and focus on yourself. So let's talk about you. Yeah, this is alone. Doing it alone. You may be going it alone. You may need to go within to heal, uh, to rethink things, to make new plans. You may be... Uh, taking a retreat, you know, really, really, or needing to go within or needing to retreat to come up with a different goal, come up with, uh, it's like coming up with plan B, you know, you got to come up with plan B, you got to go within and maybe you need to set a new goal or make new plans or something. And this is, I feel like it does have to do with your job. It may have to do with your success and it also has to do with yourself. So this is focusing on yourself, focusing on what you need. So anyway, you're going to be really focusing on yourself. You may be going your own way, going down your own path, or you may just be going within to come up with another plan because whoever you're dealing with, I feel like whoever you're dealing with is walking away from a partnership that, you know, they're not, it, there's no love there. They're, and they were only in it for the stability, you know, for the codependency reasons. Um, and now this person is taking another opportunity. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> so this person has come up with another plan. And it, but it, it's interesting because it looks like this one's going in and this one's coming out. So I feel like we have somebody here that is chosen to go down a new path they've become enlightened they've become an, they've be, they've seen the light and it's like they they're they're ready this whoever this person is they're sick of being uh in a partnership where there's no stability where there's no growth where, the, where where it's based on fantasy whoever this person is this person over here has become enlightened and i feel like they are they have chosen to go down a new path they've come up with a new plan they've realized their goals and so they're they're taking a new path so anyway whoever this person is They've gone through some sort of awakening. They've become consciously aware of what they want. And where they've been has been an illusion. It has been an illusion. And there's been no stability, right? And it's just like, i got to take action right now. So somebody over here, I don't know who it is, is going to be taking action uh, as to what they want. Not what you want. It's what they want. And I feel like they are definitely, there's a breakup here. There's a breakup or a split. This person is choosing to go in another direction. Um, oh, God. Five of Wands is a battle. It's a competition, playing games. Somebody has been playing. They've been uh, fighting a lot with a partner, and they can't do it anymore. It's like, you know what? I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone than be in a partnership just for the sake of having one. So I do feel like we have a person on this side that has made a decision that they don't want to play these games anymore. They don't want to play these games. They don't want to compete. They're sick of it. This has been nothing but a game. It has been nothing but a game. And I feel like this is truth, seeing the truth, you know, something being revealed. Whoever this person is over here, they have become consciously aware of a partnership that is not compatible, where there's no long-term stability, there's no abundance, and they're making an important decision to stop fighting, to stop competing. You know, this is somebody who has woken up over here. Um, six of going after what they deserve. So we do have, and this person's taking action right now. They're, they're going after what they want. This is somebody that is willing to shed the old to get what they want. This is somebody that does something to bring success. So whoever you are dealing with is doing something. They are finding their resources and all the power that they can find within themselves to do what is right for them. This is a card of self as well. Somebody has, I feel like, and I don't need the hangman. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces, but whoever this person is, they've been sacrificing themselves for a partnership that just isn't compatible. And it feels like, they, because there was some sort of fantasy, you know, or illusion in it, 
but now this person has become aware of what they want and they're going after what they deserve. This is somebody that is willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. And so they're going to they're they're going to remove themselves from some sort of uh, partnership where it's been a constant battle and it's been a constant competition you know it's like it's been a game now now it's like I just want balance in my life I'm going after what I deserve so somebody has be has become awakened and they've they've uh, become aware this is a this is awareness awareness of a of a partnership that was based on illusion you know it's like they've woken up so whoever this person is has made a decision to um, find probably a partnership or find themselves you know they've maybe they've found themselves you know I, I'd rather be alone than be with somebody that I'm not compatible with so that's what this person has done so let's let's go over here I, but I also feel like we have somebody over here that that could be traveling because this it feels like this person is coming there could be a reconnection here somebody could be traveling to a new destination and reconnecting with somebody that they have become aware of you know they've been hiding their feelings for but any now let's go back over here let's talk about you now there's a lot of players here in this scenario so whoever this person is they, they've engaged themselves in some games you know and they've been playing they've been playing games but they haven't been receiving what they deserve from a partner or receiving what they want which has woken them up which is interesting anyhow let's go back over to you Oh, the end of the battle, the end of the battle. So there's been a, there's been a power struggle here. There has been a power struggle. I think that you have been struggling to let go. Maybe you were struggling to let go of this person. Um, there, been, there definitely has been a battle. I feel like you're going to need to go within to to replan because this person's letting go of you. Or you're letting go of them could go either way. It could go both ways. There's definitely, you know, letting go. This is this is the tug of war where you know somebody loses, you know, and I feel like I feel like uh, it's been a very hostile situation. But the hostile situation is coming to an end, and now you can just get up and you can go your own way and heal. <laughs> What is going on here? Hey, man. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces. Uh, this person, uh, you had, and maybe you've been sacrificing yourself for them. Maybe you've been sacrificing yourself for them or they've been sacrificing yourself themselves for you. Um, this is the end of hanging on. It is definitely the end of hanging on. This is this person is exhausted and fed up, um, and they're letting go. They are definitely letting go. It's like they can't. It's exhausting. It's exhausting to hang on. So I do feel like there is uh, somebody that is choosing not to fight anymore, and I feel like this is going to be emotional for you. It's gonna. I feel like it's an emotional release. I feel like you're going to have to you know, uh, take charge of a situation, you know, it feels like you're going to have to take charge. You're going to need time out. You're going to need time to think about your future. You're going to need time to think about what's next for you. So I think that you are going to be going into a period of planning. You're going to be going into a period of isolation. You're going to need to take a time out to regroup, you know, to, uh, figure out the next steps. I think it's good. You got a lot of hard work ahead of you, and it does involve healing and planning and setting new goals for your life. So anyway, I feel like this week you're going to be uh, planning for your future, and I think you're going to be. Uh, and I think it's because of some sort of separation. Somebody is separating, and because they have become awakened, and I feel like their awakening awakening coincides with your awakening. You know, you're both going through an awakening right now. Um, I feel like there's a lesson to be learned here. I feel like there's a lesson that is being learned about, uh, hanging on to something that is hostile. Maybe you're learning some sort of lesson from whoever this person is. Um, I do see freedom though. I definitely see freedom, freedom from a hostile situation and needing to love yourself and work on yourself and, and, um, <clears throat> go within. So this week you're really going to be isolating and thinking about everything that has happened. 
uh, whoever you're dealing with is probably leaving a partnership. And this could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a lover. It's somebody that is very predominantly in your life, okay? It could be somebody that you live with that has been battling their feelings. Or it doesn't have to be somebody you live with. It could be an, it's somebody that is in your energy in a very strong way. This person um, has been confused. They've been confused about what they want. And they may have, they stayed in a partnership just because they didn't want to be alone. And now they, they don't care. It's like, I'd rather be alone than be with you, you know, and that affects your life. So anyway, Scorpio, I feel like this week, um, there we got some sirens coming. This week, there's going to be a release with that five of wands reversed. And you need to expect the unexpected as well because we have several fives here. We have two on your side, one on theirs. I feel like there's some sort of unexpected news that is coming. Um, struggling to let go. This is. I feel like this is going to be a struggle. It's going to be a week. It's going to be a week where you know you're going to be struggling. You know, with some sort of. Uh, Retreat. It feels like somebody is, is retreating, either leaving or something like that, and you have to replan your whole future. So, good luck.